What is happening folks? My name is PK and this in front of me is the 2024 Mitsubishi Triton. This is actually the latest generation of the Triton and um, the very first thing that you see when you actually look at the front of these vehicles are these chrome accents. They are very prominent. You can hardly see where the lights are. Uh, chrome accents which are uh, which are contrasted by this um, uh, black grille in the middle here with the chrome Mitsubishi logo a quick walk around the vehicle um, actually shows us a very familiar shape of the vehicle shows us a very familiar shape of the vehicle of the Triton it's basically the Triton that we um, we have basically come to grow and love over the past uh, number of years and then um, uh, the rear headlights have been designed uh, have been redesigned rather now this particular model it's the base spec model right now i have not actually been very up close with the triton therefore spec models at this point i am not very familiar with as of yet but if you look at it you basically see that it is um, um a Mitsubishi in all of its glory and what we're gonna do right now is we are actually going to jump on the inside of this vehicle um, uh, the color is um, it's a tangerine color I don't want to say it's a tangerine orange color but it is a tangerine sort of color anyway um, uh, we're going to um, open the door actually if you look at this this is the keyless um, um, uh, button there if you've got the key within uh, like in your pocket or something you can actually open and close lock and unlock the vehicle wirelessly with that button there opening the vehicle and then you find that um, on the door panel uh, you see your basic controls uh, door controls these are your window controls mirror controls now this vehicle is a base spec um, I'm going to I'm going to pin the name now if we look at the door we find that there's basic controls your your, your window controls your mirror controls your um, your your door handle this is actually a bit of hard plastic here and then this is soft touch leather and then the leather goes on here there's a bit of carbon hard plastic continues down and then if we look at the rest of the interior um uh, hop inside the vehicle you actually see that all right you are greeted with this um steering wheel it's actually a very uh, nice compact steering wheel especially for your bucky you've got this beautiful like uh accents here it's um this base spoke here is different to these two and then you've got these buttons um uh, which control various features in this vehicle um analog um analog instrument cluster and that is a digital uh, uh screen right there which i assume houses all of the vehicle's information um uh, like your park distance control etc etc moving on to the center console um, you can just put this on basically by pressing there, but I don't have the key with me So the vehicle is not gonna go on moving on to the center console You've got this screen right here and um, this vehicle does not have a rear view camera So this screen just feeds the infotainment system nothing more and nothing less and then if you continue down here center console you find that this is your in, um your climate control panel here and then these are all the switches that's the start stop button that's the USB A, USB C and then that is a 12 volt power outlet right there that is a wireless charging pad um, for your phone actually these features are becoming very popular these days this is your gear shift gear lever this is an automatic um, automatic um, automatic gearbox and then this is this is where the business is at this is where it's at this is your off-road um uh, this is your drive mode your drive mode selector when you're off-road so this is basically too high four high um uh, four low and four really low <laughs> okay so so basically these are your this is your um your low range these are these are your two low range modes these are your two high range modes two wheel drive high range four wheel drive high range and then these are your four wheel drive at low range um uh, and then drive mode i assume this will take you to a to a selection where you where you will where you will select between snow rocks etc your hill descent control two cup holders your mechanical handbrake uh your center armrest which can be open to reveal clorets nice okay you can actually you as you can see the driver of this car has left some some chewing gum there um, and then you get these beautiful perforated leather seats with double white stitching very prominent the double white stitching by the way continues in the dashboard right here and then it opens like this to reveal this glove box and then there's another opening of the glove box so there's ample space in as far as that uh, is concerned um, uh, air vents this is your hazard switch 
and then uh, there's another air vent here and then this is basically your auto dim rear view mirror and then you find that there is a sunshade sunglass holder this is an illuminating panel just close that this is an illuminating panel and then these are your sun visors with vanity mirrors right here and another vanity mirror right there your door grip handle moving over this side this is your panel where you control all of your lighting and then that is the release for your hood or for your bonnet if you live in south africa the um, steering wheel is a manual um is a manual rake and reach by the way rake and reach adjustment so you can actually tilt and telescope the steering wheel manually though using this lever here and then that that's your brake that's your accelerator and then if we move on to the rear of the vehicle um I'll just have a quick look that's a doorstep right there we are going to move on to the rear of the vehicle right now moving on to the rear of the vehicle same treatment as in front this is a carbon finish that is a um, um the window button, non-automatic door handle, that's a little storage compartment, that's a speaker right there. Hop inside and then the first thing you will notice is how much room there is back here. Uh, quite a decent leg room, quite decent headroom as well. And then um, if you know what this is, please hit me up in the comments and let me know what feature is this. I've been trying to figure this out. I cannot figure out what this is. If you know what this is, please let me know in the comment section below. Your interior illumination continues in this compartment right here. And then um, this is the rear pocket. Now, interesting enough, the passenger seat, um, um, the passenger seat does have two pockets on the upper as well as the lower compartment of the seat. And then the perforation of the leather seats continues as well here. And then you find that there's a center armrest, which when you fold out reveals two cup holders. And then you do get um, three full sized um, uh, headrest right here. Sitting here, um, uh, so the one the one common thing about all buckies is that there is a drive shaft hump that runs in the middle which is a very common thing because that's where the drive shaft runs and they, it's no exception in the triton here as well so looking at this vehicle um uh, it is actually the new triton i'm so excited to see the higher spec version of this how it is going to look right and then if we proceed to the rear to the um, to the aft compartment the loading bay of the vehicle this is basically the basic basic loading bay uh, nothing too special to write home about this is your rear compartment where you will step on to gain access into the vehicle this is a red stopping light if you open here you find that the car opens no problem at all to give you access into the rear compartment all right now, as far as engine specs are concerned, I am definitely going to let you guys know of what this vehicle is. Now, if we have a look, if we have a look at these rims, right, you find that this vehicle houses these um these 18 inch 18 inch are uh, blacked out rims which are quite nice because this being an off-road vehicle you're gonna use it quite a lot for the off-road adventure therefore you do need to have um, um a black out color so that if you do scratch them or something it will not be as conspicuous um uh, overall guys tell me what do you guys think of the mitsubishi triton how does it look at the front um, um there are mixed reviews on the current looks of this vehicle there are very mixed reviews on how this vehicle looks i would like to hear yours i'm very curious to hear what you guys think about this vehicle um this particular one that i've shown you what do you guys think of it do you think this is a vehicle that will catch on as far as competition in the shape of the hilux the ranger etc is concerned let me know in the comment section below all right